Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review shock value. How far would you go for fame? Brought to us by Killer Loop, directed by Douglas Rath, written and starring Anthony Bravo, Shock Value is about a struggling B-movie director who hires a real serial killer to star in his next film. So what do we like about this movie, guys? All of the cinematography in this film was pretty great. I thought the use of transitions in this movie were fantastic. They did a lot of strange things that were really artsy that you don't see in a lot of things. They used a lot of cross dissolves and they even had a few wipes in there that actually worked. A lot of the times when they're establishing the characters in art form, they had them positioned perfectly in the middle third with everything almost out of focus in the background. It was very, very well done. I thought this movie had some pretty good humor to it, actually. There was humorous dialogues, reactions. The actors played those jokes perfectly. Anthony Bravo as the serial killer was awesome because he was awkward, but he was so awkward, it was funny and likable. He reminded me a lot of Leslie Vernon from Behind the Mask. I have killed 38 people. Wow, that's a lot. It's not 100. Besides, that figure's inflated. I've only gone out and killed half that. Most movies, you can kinda telegraph what they're doing next. This one generally took us by surprise, I think. We didn't know where they were going from the start. There were some nice twists and turns that I liked. I thought that all of the performances by everybody were pretty solid. Everything just kind of worked. Everybody worked very well together. It was nice to see just like a very, very indie film. Uh, debatably a horror. I'm not sure that I would classify yeah. this as yeah. a horror. It was more like a, a, a drama, yeah, suspense, suspense thriller. Like a thriller, yeah. But not even that much. It reminded yeah. me kind of like kids. I, I say it's like kids because it was pretty dramatic. It had very subtle comedy that came off really naturally, but then had a big climax. Now normally we would be doing our favorite kills. There isn't really a lot of kills in this movie, and the ones that we do see are pretty intense, and they look pretty cool, so we don't want to spoil anything, and we want you guys to check it out. Which leads us to, what didn't we like about this movie? I have a little nitpicky thing. The actors, whether they were actors or directors, uh, they seemed really fake. Not to say that their acting was bad, but I personally didn't think everything came off as naturally as it should have, being that they were going to be directing other actors. These guys need to be super smooth with all of their deliveries. Mm -hmm. Justice, played by Michelle Campbell, she actually did a pretty solid job, but there were times where it was a little spotty. It's almost like there was a pause between each sentence, like they weren't just flowing, and so it felt like I'm acting and I'm memorizing these lines and saying it one by one. You think she'd help me get better? Maybe. It was a little too self-referential uh, for me. Like they had that scene where they were in the tunnel and they're like, oh, permits are too expensive. Like, like that scene didn't really add to anything. If you're not a filmmaker, yeah. then I think you're gonna miss some of those jokes. I've seen real movies getting shot and they're not made on camcorders. And where are the trucks and all the cables and shit? And the lights, big lights, not like that. Essentially watching Ashley's performance, you could tell it was a B-movie. What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> just joking. We, all, we almost got too comfortable with the serial killer by the end. Mm -hmm. We're just like, oh no, we really like this guy. He's yeah. a nice guy. Yeah. He's killed 38 people. Yeah. He's a big deal. <laughs> Those quick cut things with the blood and the murders, it did the opposite effect. I think if we introduced to him in the funny way that they did, and then we just grew to like him, and then maybe, you know, three quarters of the way through, then we get that. Yeah, remind yeah. us yeah. that he's not just this yeah. awkward, funny guy, but yeah. he's actually a fucked up up serial killer and then show the blood on his face and him yeah. taking pictures and holding his dick and that. Yeah. Then I think it, emotionally it would have affected us way more. Because at that point now we're just, we're going for the jokes. Like it almost turned into a comedy. Now we're going to give our final thoughts and ratings. Despite this film not being your typical slasher horror, it was actually a really good film. I was entertained throughout. I liked the story, the cinematography, and especially the awkward moments between the characters. It had a different dimension to the film and it was really hilarious. Though I didn't get to see a lot of kills, it was still a good film. So that being said, I'm going to give this four forks are mightier than knives out of five. I'm scared of a knife. I'm not scared of a fork. Not yet. I, I enjoyed this film. I didn't know much going in, so I think that actually added to it. I think uh, I was genuinely surprised. It was well done. The story was cool. I think they hit the right notes. Just on uh, sitting down to watch a movie when you got nothing to do, I think it does the job. Overall, I would recommend it. Definitely check it out. It's, it's a good indie film. I'm going to give this movie three cheesy cat costumes out of five.
This is actually a pretty cool indie flick. Well, it wasn't the horror I thought it was gonna be. It was actually just a really well done film. Everything was shot well, it sounded great. I thought all of the actors came off pretty decent. The story really worked. I thought this just was a pretty fun film. I think people are gonna like it. It had its faults, but I mean, I'm not gonna pick on them too much. I'm gonna give this 3.2 dildos hitting guys in the faces out of five. And that's what we thought about the film. If you've seen it, let us know in the comments below. If you have Kevin, check it out. Make sure you let us know if you have any recommendations for films to review at bloodbath underscore TV.